The Galactic Free Press Update The Galactic Alignment of 2012 An Inevitable Event Bringing Humanity Home Energy and Event Update Greetings, Love Beings the current energies are continuing to swirl about the planet in intensity, which were magnified through our last eclipse. These energies will continue to increase in intensity. The energy of heaven is here. This is also creating those energies which are not in alignment to come up for review. We are witnessing this now reflected in the Middle East and in Greece. What is occurring in these areas is multidimensional and is serving humanity in many ways, whether they can see it or not. Since our last portals and powerful solar eclipse, the planet has lifted in vibration at a very quick rate, and everyone now must rise to meet this energy as well. There is no going back. This incoming energy is requesting love and peace for planet Earth, and this is an inevitable outcome. Mike Quincy and Seleucia We notice a great upturn in the amount of light upon the earth, and that is to your credit and dedication to have brought so much to it. To some, the energies are proving to be powerful and disorienting. However, as they learn what is actually taking place, they may be able to flow with the energies and experience a higher degree of consciousness. They may otherwise experience feelings of impending change without being able to determine what is happening. We monitor the rising levels of consciousness, and they are absolutely speeding up at an incredible rate. That is what we like to see, as it is opening more hearts as to what is going on. After all, you may be individual souls, but you are also a part of group consciousness. All will proceed as planned and continue well after ascension as you benefit from the new energies. <clears throat> End of quote. Another aspect to what is unfolding in the, in the Middle East is also a reflection of humanity's inner turmoil, turmoil resistance to the love energy arriving. This is held unconsciousness or density, and it's a block to the flow of the real energies coming in. This is also how the Cabal continue to manipulate the sleeping ones, which is their food. This will be severed. One way or the other, this energy will release off the planet. This is needed for her and humanity to embrace the incoming energies from the upcoming galactic alignment. The planet is preparing for ascension, and all unconsciousness or density must be released to continue to move forward into the center. We send the highest love for the highest outcome, for the greater good of all in the no matter what this looks like. Many angels are here. They are stationed and placed perfectly. Whatever will occur, and how this occurs, will be a step forward in planetary peace and an awakened planet. Quoted from Laura from Seleucia. What has been behind the conflict in Jerusalem is far beyond the imaginable and predates any officially recorded historical episodes. The conflict is likely to escalate and spill to other nations who also have hidden interests in Jerusalem and particularly in the Dome. Do not allow yourselves to go into fear mode. Know that your power is immense, and the power of love is even greater. Although the situation looks at its worst right now, <clears throat> from many perspectives, <clears throat> know that this is a created and planned situation by the Cabal to ensure the spread of negative vibrations on Earth's surface. In order to overcome the challenges ahead in the remaining few weeks, the Earth's population will need to unite and awaken from the slumber it has been carefully been engineered. We do encourage you to send loving thoughts, prayers, and help any practical way to end the war in the Middle East. However, ensure that you are not taking sides and are not judging those who are the mere puppets of the Cabal. We send our love and light to you all as usual, and wish to assure you that you have a very important part to play in Mother Earth's final ascension chapter, dear ones. This remains to be discovered by many of you yet.
<clears throat> I'm Salusa from Sirius, and I assure you that we keep monitoring the situation on, our, on your planet, as well as dealing with much of the loss taking place right now. Our part to play, as Ascended Masters, is to serve the Divine. Although we understand that the Divine's way is often difficult to understand, at times like these for many of the incarnate, incarnated souls. End of quote. Bella Capozzi Ascension is happening. It is happening everywhere you look, everywhere you go. You have o need only to open up your hearts and your eyes to know that this is true. Seek out the good in each of your brothers and sisters, and dig deep to uncover the life lesson in every situation. Reach out your hand. If nothing is ventured, then nothing is gained. Be bold. Step out of your box and go out, go out into the world. Go out as a friend, a teacher, a way-shower, a bringer of the light. Engage with the persons around you, and care not a whit as to whether they are awakened or not, or that they are at a simi similar level of spiritual enlightenment as yourself. Love <clears throat> is the only answer now from here on out. Acknowledge that what is left of the illusion of time has sped up to such an astonishing degree that most of humanity is cramming entire lifetimes of experience into a span of merely months. So extend a hand in greeting, uncomfortable though it may be at times. Heal those you meet with a kind word and a smile. You are the living, breathing embodiment of the Creator. You are here now, at this time, to do the Creator's bidding, which is to lift up dear Gaia and all who dwell upon and within her to an entirely new state of being. Choose not to shift your consciousness out of 3D <clears throat> density for scheduled pockets of time, but instead exist and be in a perpetual state of fifth dimensional unity and bliss. Be in a state of walking meditation from this moment onward. View the glass not as half empty, but as completely full, and in so doing, you shall cease to be affected by any havoc being wrecked around you. For there shall indeed be times of chaos as your world transforms, just as there shall be times of apparent stagnation. It may seem as though there is nothing important happening at all, but we tell you, do not view the absence of events as meaning that the ascension is not moving forward. Rather see this as a confirmation that it is moving forward, that it is in fact already here. Your new world is one of tranquility, peace, and simplicity. And on that note, we conclude this transmission until next we speak. Go forth in harmony. End of quote. It is truly all happening now. And many can feel this taking place on all levels throughout the planet. It's a feeling which goes beyond words. There have been many attempting to explain how this incoming event will occur and change the planet. And what we can share with you is, it's beyond 3D human comprehension. Quoted from Shannon. My brothers and sisters, I love you all so much. I feel compelled to write just a few more blogs before the event occurs. I have a higher guidance and higher assurances that everything is about to change. Not just a little, mind you, but a lot. This change is so far-reaching that to discuss it in, in current terms does it no justice. This type of change is the type where I can safely say that all you know is about to be transformed. Anything not of higher intent will disappear. There is a type of shock I'm saying will happen on a global level in a very short time. Even the members of the Cabal will have their breath taken away at the suddenness with which this event changes everything. There will be no more there will be no one more surprised than the Cabal when in a seeming instant they are brushed aside and made absolutely irrelevant. Following the news and the stories has its merit, but if you really want to be fully prepared, just realize that very soon all of this will change so, signific so significantly and none of the stories will matter on the level where you will suddenly perceiving how would business as usual be possible if everyone were given that gift in one beautiful moment of love from our Creator. What could the Cabal do when those who work for them suddenly were to know how evil their thoughts were and what their intentions truly were, even for those that served them? What could the Cabal do 
when each <clears throat> man, woman, and child knew they were family and remembered their connection to God. It's all about to change. Of this, I am certain. Prepare. End of quote. Love energy is the most powerful energy in all of creation. This energy is spiraling around the higher grid and arriving into the planet, preparing us for the galactic alignment. Everyone is made of this energy of love and is the very energy which will be released in a most powerful way during this event of the galactic alignment, which will change everything. As this event occurs, the center of the earth, including the center or heart of everyone on the planet, <clears throat> will all be aligned as one with this entire universe. Then there will be an infusion of this energy into the entire planet with highly charged light particles or God consciousness. This will create energy movement for where the inner transforms to the outer, which reconnects everything and everyone into the oneness energy again. Inside of the earth is all plasma, meaning pure consciousness energy. And during the galactic alignment, this energy will be connecting with the center of earth, connected to all the planets and this entire universe. These combined energies and this will move Mother Earth to take her rightful place at the center of this universe. This will birth a new energy on this planet, which will emit out, out into the universe in a continual way. Then we say welcome to eternity. Quoted from the Andromedan Council. The electromagnetic particles that will be flowing and interchanging between the planets during the 1221 alignment will be highly magnified and highly supercharged when they reach Earth. They will penetrate the crust through the Earth and down into its core. At the actual moment of alignment, it will cause the Earth to pause. And this process will completely transform the core of our planet to a completely new kind of energy source. This will be the first time cosmic transformational event of this type ever for a planet. Time will begin to go away, and Earth will continue her evolution and transformation process into becoming a higher dimensional planet. End of quote. Quoted from Jose Argelis, On December 21, 2012, the human race will unify as a single circuit. Solar and galactic sound transmissions will inundate the planetary field. A current charging of both poles will race across the skies, connecting the polar auroras in a single brilliant flash. End of quote. This massive light energy aligned with the entire universe will all be connected on December 21st, 2012. This is an unstoppable event. This energy will move and birth through the heart of Mother Earth and directly into yours and will be just like how a baby takes its first, first breath. The new Earth is born. Decreed by Heaven, we intend the highest outcome to occur for the remaining density or unconsciousness on this planet to be released. The food source to the cabal will be severed. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.